Hey, Liz. I'm so grateful to have started this conversation and get your help. When I got your email this morning, I was like, of course. Of course it's happened to somebody else before. And now I don't have to feel like such a fool. <laughs> um, why do I do this work? I love the growth journey of facing what is the hardest for us to face with the greatest potential. And I love supporting people in that because it's hard, it's lonely. It's the opportunity for the greatest impact. And the leaders in particular that I work with are the ones with the greatest wake. I'll give you two examples. Dietrich is the CTO of a large fintech. Well, it's not large, it's going to be huge. It is transforming the Canadian landscape. He has a team of about 500 people and the organization is somewhat dysfunctional and there's a lot of fear. And so by supporting him and his senior leadership team, we will impact not only them, all the people in their org, their families, their friends, if they can have a better life, a better time at work, less fear, more fulfillment, more joy, with skills and tools to consistently create this beautiful experience, heaven. I was speaking with the founder, one of the founders of this company the other day. I've been a, a month officially working with them and four months unofficially for, you know, like coaching and now officially um, a member of their team. So I was speaking with the founder and CEO. And there's a Jewish word, a Hebrew word called tikkunah. And it, he brought it up in conversation because I was asking him about his culture, his why and what I had observed thus far. And he offered, Tikuna is when we are at purpose. Tikuna is when we are at purpose in service to the world and to our community and for the greatest good. And that is what he feels. And that is what I feel when I do this work. The reason why Leaders at Scale is so important to me personally, in addition to what I've just shared, I have had the great honor, privilege, joy of working with so many amazing startups, scale-ups, Firefox, FreshBooks, Shopify, many, many others. And I have never benefited from it financially other than in the moment. I need to set myself up for retirement. I don't know what my life is going to become other than I know this will continue this kind of service work. And I need to be more and more in nature further away from people in a way and closer to them. And that whenever I post anything with nature in it, especially like on LinkedIn, if I do a, a photo and a post, it explodes. People miss their connection. I know you know this. And I am moving towards that in a way I don't yet know. But it will require me to be away physically.
from a city. So I need a way of keeping on making money that doesn't require me to be so much of my time, so much of my physical energetic presence so that I could be more generous in the world. I'm up at my sister's. She runs a charity. It's called The Land Between, and its primary front, front face is Turtle Guardians. She does kids' programs. It's beautiful. And they rescue turtles that have been run over. It's heartbreaking work. She's another one of these amazing leaders that that I support. So I love buying her things for the charity. I just came back with like all these really cool puzzles, kid puzzles, like with turtles on them and owls and wolves and stuff like that. I want to be comfortable enough in my life financially that I can spread that out. That's my why. That's my vision. And the impact of what Leaders at Scale does is profound. Leaders feel seen and heard. They feel a safe space to talk through the challenges. They come away with these beautiful golden nuggets. And coaching, finding the positive forward movement narrative and practice that coaching unlocks thank you for your help